drawing bar graphs. You will need a piece of graph paper, a sharp pencil and a ruler. I will use some felt tips to make it a bit clearer. Here's the results table that we're going to draw a graph of today. So first of all I need two axes. I need my y axis coming down like the y's tail and the x axis going across the bottom. I'm then just going to put some little markers on my line ready for my scale. Notice how these are even distances apart using the grid lines. So my independent variable which is found in the left hand column goes along the x-axis. So I'll label my x-axis with my independent variable, the variable I change the type of surface. There's no units for this. For the y-axis we put the dependent variable found in the right hand column, the thing I'm measuring, which is distance travelled and the units are centimetres. Now I need to add some scales. So this is a bar graph, so I'm going to write my labels in between these markers. So I've got sandpaper, bubble wrap, wood, and laminate. Up the side I need to get to 92. So each of these gaps has 10 small squares so it makes sense for me to go up in 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. Then I'm going to plot my bars. You can have your bars touching. It's absolutely fine. Please use a ruler. So sandpaper goes up to 52. So 50, 1, 2, because each of those small ones counts as 1. So I draw a line across and then I'll join it up to the bottom. Like so. For bubble wrap, 41, so again I find 41, draw a line across, join it up to my x-axis, wood went up to 86, so there we go, 86, And then laminate went up to 92. And there we go. Looks like laminate allows the furthest distance travelled. Now all this graph needs is an appropriate title. So a graph to show how the independent variable, which is type of surface, affects the dependent variable, which is the distance travelled. And I'll underline my title. And there we have 
a nice bar chart. Now you have a go.